You're about to watch a video we filmed live on Twitch. But it's not actually live. But you can catch us live on twitch.tv slash hardcore games. So the next time we do it, you need to be there chatting with us. Go follow us at twitch.tv slash hardboard games. Hey folks, welcome to I Heart Board Games. We are here t today to play. Yeah. Tiny Epic Zombie. Tiny Epic Zombie. Tiny. And I'm here with Melissa, hey. Travis, and guest starring Joe once again. Hey, thankfully not Ronald. <laughs> yes. I should start saying guest starring Ronald from now on. Who? <laughs> exactly. Hey, oh, River. it's a guest star. Hey, River, what's up? Hey, you should say star of uh, stage. Star of stage, stage. Ronald, Ronald, yes. Star Ronald. Oh. Diva Ronald. Oh, yes, again, Ronald. not familiar. Just... Yeah. You'll be familiar. We'll, we'll reintroduce him once he shows back up. <laughs> anyway, so, what I was saying, tiny epic zombies, we are in a mall. We are working comp not com competitively. Cooperatively. That, is, that was an option at first. We were going to do that, but now we're doing it. Cooperatively, and uh, we have to finish certain objectives through this mall. So during each player's turn, they're going to move three times and do three different things, three different actions they're allowed to do, which is like kill zombies, pick up items, or do certain things that are on the board. But overall, we have to finish three objectives. These are the three objectives here. So we have to call the CDC. Well, how do we do that? There is a token here with a radio. So, while a player is carrying the radio, they may pick up frequency cards. Frequencies are going to come out randomly throughout the game. And so, if you have the radio in your possession, you can then pick up frequencies. So, we'll probably assign one of us to do that. So, this is a 1950s mall. <laughs> yes. There's just radio frequencies everywhere. <laughs> right. Or it's like us trying to find a cell, cell signal. Oh, okay. <laughs> To call the CDC. Right. Because okay. all the zombies are just in the mall. They're not outside the mall. Man. And we can't just leave because, you know. Yes, we can. If we have to get to this There's, there's too many sales. <laughs> what? <laughs> <There's> too... <laughs> so the next thing we have to do, or not the next some thing. Some song. The That's other funny. thing we have to do at the same time. Some song, yes. Uh, we have to discover a cure, and it has to be in a certain order. Well, thank yeah. God the cure is on sale this week. It is on sale, and it's spread out throughout the mall, and there's all these little tokens throughout the mall. So what we can do is if we are entering a room with an ingredient token... The theme is starting to break down. <laughs> after killing a zombie, if necessary, and if there's no zombies in that store, you can flip over one of these and reveal what it is. It's either going to be an A, B, C, or D, because we have to um, find them and return them in a certain order, because it says if it's incorrect and does not match, place it back face down. But if it is correct and it matches the next letter, oh, so place that token onto that space. Oh, this is like Okay, so we don't even have to return it. We just reveal it. If it's correct, we move it there. That's like certain mechanics in a certain game that we can't talk about because it contains spoilers, but it's a legacy game that involves medical things. Mm. Medical things. Yeah, having to do codes and Maybe certain the CDC. orders. If, oh, I got you. If I there were you. still a CDC. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Aww. Sure. And then we when have to fix the helicopter. That's what I do. I ruin things. So there's four parts needed for the helicopter. The first part's All here over in the hobby Best store. In the mall. They are. They're in a hobby store currently. So what's going to happen is one of us has to get the gear and return it. And once we return it, we move that up. And then the gear returns to the board in the next spot, the two, which is, you might see the two over here. And there's four. three. There's four. No, that's oh, a wait, three oh, that's biohazard. A three, three, three gears. The gear, here. yeah. Oh, there's the four. So the one's here, the two, the three, and then the four there, and return all those that the store. All of those things have to be done before we win. Does that seem like a lot? What a, it seems tiny, but epic. Tiny but epic, yes. Uh, the playtime on this is 30 to 45 minutes, one to five players. Shenanigans. <laughs> you don't think it'll be done in 30 minutes? I mean, we might. Because the only thing you're doing is, is moving, you're moving and, yeah. and doing the one of the three actions, which is killing a zombie. You move, kill a zombie. Move, kill a zombie, move, kill a zombie. Your turn's over. Or you can move, then use the room's ability or interact with the token. Is it an insta-kill and then roll the die? 
It's an insta kill. Yeah, the zombie's gonna die no matter what. Right, because we're that good. Right. But this the, is the only side that says nothing happens. Right, dead of wintery. Kind of, except there's no instant death. Yeah, there's no insta death. And there's no frostbite. Right. So what are you going to use these knives and pistols for? That is your default starting weapons. Over time, you might replace them by laying a card on top. Like, I see a bazooka. Yeah. <laughs> I see an Uzi. Chainsaw. Uh, crossbow. Okay. There are some weapons out here. <laughs> Those are pretty cool. Hosting. So does anyone have any questions? Why am I not auto-hosting? Oh, because there's no one in my room. <laughs> I'll see who goes first by dropping off one of these. But does anybody have any questions? I will. No? Okay. Yeah, Could well, you explain the entire game again? I wasn't paying attention. Sure. Here we go. So this is Tiny Epic Let's Zombies. Go to the mall. No. Yes. She's a she's a mall pop star. Yes. I refuse to allow that. <laughs> she's like late eighties mall pop star. That? Oh, that's Travis first. That's, that's me. I refuse to let that reference continue. What the Robin Sparkles? Thing? Yes. <laughs> God, the ending of that show. Um. Can you move your card south a bit, camera? I even have my. Penguin earrings. I'm all kinds of like. That's fine. Your backpack is right here, though, so I didn't want to put it in the back. You can put it above your card or something. There you go. Wait, what is this all card? right. Don't look at it. That is the zombies card. So movement oh. is They're one, like one, one room, one room, one room. Like, what's my speed? I guess. Yeah. Three. Three. Yeah. Oh, uh, you weren't yeah. here for the the explanation I'm about sorry. movement. Sorry. So, you can move from one room to another, meaning. Like These little dividers are rooms, so this is yeah, one I room here. that. Now, if a room is touching any of the rooms, like if say you were here, you can move to any of these three rooms here because they're all touching us, sharing a wall. So let's say, for example, you were here, you can go to this room or this room. If you were here, oh, wow, you can go to this room, this room, this room, this room. I'm trying to look for an example here. So if you were in this room, you can go to this room, but you can't go to this room because they are not touching a wall. But okay. Um, so what's what's who's going for? Like, are we going to work on one of these at a time? I mean, I don't mind running around getting radio frequencies. Okay, so let's see. Let's read this setup for that. But they have to be so. out later, don't they? While a player is carrying the radio. Hi, camera. Hi. <laughs> only a player carrying the radio may pick up frequency cards. So right now we don't have any uh, frequency cards. So, handling the radio. A player needs to be in the same room as a radio token to pick it up. When picked up, place this token on the player's card. Any player may drop the radio in a room at any time. Players may give or take the radio to a player in the same room. Ask, ask them for permission first. So, that's like the traditional way of passing things. Right. Which is not allowed for most items. If a player dies while carrying the radio, they immediately drop to the room where they died. All right, so it seems like the radio is pretty straightforward as far as how that works. But it doesn't behoove us to carry it at this point because there's no frequency cards. Correct. Um, well, let's start working on a cure. Yeah, yeah, I think that's a... I mean, those are out there, they're ready, or you can go for that gear down south. Uh, I'll let somebody else do that. So I'm in this room. Mm -hmm. So I can immediately move... Or you can go for the barricade to start working on the barricade. Oh, work on the barricade. Um, so do I have to move, like, out... Or no, I'm in here. I can just move right here. Yeah, that's one move. So that's one. And then you're allowed to take an action, but there's nothing to take right there. Two. I'm in here. And so interacting with this token is an action, Yes, right? that's, that's you so move. Just, just flip it. Can you do that even though there's a zombie thought, in the I thought you had to kill the zombie. Oh, because it's in the space. Yeah, this says, after entering a room with an ingredient token, killing zombies if necessary, and if there are no zombies in the store... That oh, player may flip it. So yeah, there's still play, there's still a zombie in the store. So two, I can't do anything. Well, what's this do? Arm so, trap. I don't want to turn it upside down. So you can take a trap token, the arm side up, into a room without a zombie in this store or an adjacent store. If a zombie enters that room, it is killed immediately. Return used traps back to this store, gray side up. No more than two traps may be armed at a time. And I can do that while keeping moving, Yeah, right? because it has a run icon. Well, let's that do that. That means you can do it while you run. Let's just go ahead and put a trap in there. So you can place it there, or what is it? Let's or do it there, just in case. In this store or an adjacent store. Let's so it could be case. here or here. Hey, Whiskey Nick. Hey, Whiskey, hey, Whiskey Nick. Nick. What's up? Just in case they run This game for is us. small. Let's, um... <laughs> Uh, so we'll do that. So that's two, and then three. Do I want to be here by myself? And then you can gain a... Oh, and you already full up max. on that, yeah. I can't shoot at a distance, can I? 
You can shoot one room's distance. Oh, then I'll come in here and shoot. Okay. Shoot the zombie! Shoot the zombie. Kapang! So, remove the zombie. Insta-kill! I've taken first blood! So killing a zombie is an action? It is. I just took it as an action. Yeah. So now, he now he has to lower his bullet by one. But remember, since you have to move and then take a room's action, you're not going to be able to gain a bullet here. But, I mean, throughout time, maybe right, later right, on right. you will. I just want to take out that zombie. Sure. Um, now what Now happens? do I roll the die? Not at ranged. Only melee. Oh, okay. You're very safe shooting because you spent a bullet. But it costs you. Exactly. Ultimately. So that's so, my turn. That is your turn. Do I the, now flip this thing? You flip that thing and you place it in, uh, it'll be in this room. So what this is called is you're searching the room, just giving it a quick look around. You found a crowbar. I do see a crowbar in the room. Hanging out at Amps Electronics. Now, we look at this icon. It's the purple icon. If you had been in the same store, that means you would have been super loud in that store, two zombies would have been added to that store. However, since it's a different store, they're added in that store that matches that icon. So the two purple stores get one zombie each. Cool. There can never be more than one zombie in each room of a store. And should that ever fill up, it starts to spill over into other stores, possibly breaking down our barricade in the middle. Cool. So like that center store over there probably needs to be handled by someone. That was my turn. So it's Joe's turn now. Make more noise. We gotta kill the pop star. <laughs> yep, gotta kill the pop star. <laughs> I'll take pictures. Who Just needed to... a pop star in this mall? Like a scientist, a pop star, a lawyer, and a photographer will walk into it a mall. It makes sense. <laughs> Everybody's I mean, gotta go to Macy's. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense for a pop star. I mean, Tiffany was in the mall. Sure. <laughs> That's what I said. You're a mall pop star. Yeah. Debbie Gibson or Tiffany. That's your choices. <laughs> that's your choices. Yep. Or Robin Sparkles. I don't know. <laughs> that might be after. <laughs> <laughs> I will get that crowbar and shove it down the <laughs> pop star <laughs> throat. So, uh, certain weapons also grant abilities. Keep those in mind. Also, you have abilities yourself. Oh, yeah. I should look at those. At the end of your turn, in a store with two zombies hey, remaining, immediately Jen. gain two bullets. That's cool. Hey, good to see you. Hey, Jen. Mine is when another player kills three or more zombies in a single turn, I gain a bullet. Oh, I'm like, oh, sweet. Does everybody have the same on your turn? Yes, that tells you the action. So what is everyone else's ability? Uh, If I end my turn in a store with two zombies remaining, immediately gain two bullets. Joe, what's your ability as a lawyer? I can can spend one (laughs) bullet to cancel the effect of any event card, even if it's not in your turn. Oh, cool. So that's this, um, I believe that's that event. Is okay. That's what event means. Like I see, there will be order this What's yours? Mine is if you roll a green, the face that allows you to mm-hmm. run okay. one after, I can move up to two rooms instead of just one. Oh, so you could really chain those if you start rolling like crazy. You should be our zombie killer. The golden rule is you must keep moving. You must make a move first in order to take an action. Zombies may be slow, but they're not going to let you sit around and wait. All right. Well, I'm moving to. I'm moving to this room. And roll the dice, right? Well, you got to kill. Your action would be kill the zombie. Kill the zombie. And so go ahead and die. remove them because they definitely die no matter what. Okay. Now you get to see what happens as a result of that. Ooh, Ooh you overkill! Yeah, you can so you can move on to the next room, kill that guy. Yeah. And then roll. roll and that's again. like a free action, which is kind of nice. Ooh, All right. So nice. nothing happens. Yay. Oh, no, you can, you can flip that thing because there's yeah. no more zombies in that, that's true. that uh, sure. store. You should do that. Do so it. Sure. C. C. You found the C, which isn't it, so it goes flip back down. We just have to remember that's the C. Oh, man, memory game. <laughs> A little bit. Is this, what fine, is this what medicine is like? It's exactly <laughs> what medicine is. you got to remember what medicine is, basically. What's this, what's this little one? I don't remember. What's this Is this medicine? All right, you at home, I hope you remember. The C is in uh, by the car. Move one more time. C, yeah. car, C, car. Yeah, you must move three times. Te- technically, he's only moved once. But you can we can move, move that the off the car. board a little bit so we can all see it. Yeah, you can, you can get into the cop car, yes. Has he moved once? What's the cop car say? Enter the police car. You may immediately go to a store entrance up to three stores away. Afterward, leave the vehicle in that room. Any player may use it again in future turns. So it just goes driving through the mall. Aww. 
That's fair. <laughs> so how many moves is that? Was it just one or two? That was just one move. Because yeah, yeah, you the zombie overkill gave you a free move. But yeah. he had to move two to get in there, huh? Because it's like he moved oh, one right. to get in there. Okay. No, no, no. He, then he moved one the to the outside room. And yeah, then yeah. one. So yeah, it was two. So you have one more. So move. you have one more. So you move. can get the car. But driving in the mall. <laughs> So you're able to get into the car if you want, or you can not do that action, whichever. Get in the car! I swore to him, just for fun. Why, <laughs> why wouldn't you get into the car? car. <laughs> Up to three stores away. Go three stores away, just because you can. <laughs> I'll come over here and get, get the helicopter parts. I'm going out of the mall! Let so me. you get to go into the entrance, which is down here. Oh, and that's got the supplies, too. Just drive all over our objectives, Joe. <laughs> All right. So, um, oh, and he's got to flip his card. Oh, yeah. Flip that, uh, zombie card. Do I do another action now or not? Oh, you, well, no, your action was getting in, in the car, wasn't it? Or no, he did that while he was running. What's that? He Because he got to this room and his action, which he can do while running, is get into the police car and move. So it doesn't need to have an action in this space? But there's a zombie. No, 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 that was the action. That, yeah. was, a, that was the oh, okay. part of it. So I'm just hanging out here. All right. Yeah. Oh, I'm so just checking you, something about the car going in yep. that room. Explosion event. So the- You're not a good driver, oh. Joe. Oh. <laughs> so what happened? Oh, that's the event. So if you wanted to spend a bullet, you could ignore it or something so like choose that. Choose one weapon or item that you're carrying and remove it from the game or else take one damage. So you'd have to take it. So you're basically going to lose a bullet or a damage, which... Uh... Yeah, I'll take a damage. All right. And then the noise happens in the orange rooms. What room are you in? I I'm in an that. orange room. Yeah, oh, but no. it just matters where he is. So that becomes a two, and the other orange becomes the one. All right, so that's just discarded away. The echoing of the police car echoed oh, through the mall. Of course, you would turn on the siren. To yeah, <laughs> yeah, why not? All right, Melissa's turn. Okay. I'm going to... If a zombie is ever added to the room you're in, you will take a damage. And not the store, just the room. Correct. One, two. So I guess it behooves you to stay in room three if you can do it. All right, roll the dice. Uh-oh. You knocked Joe oh, out of the car! <laughs> yeah, I knocked out of the car. Glad I got my picture when I did. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I got to run, too. Oh, and you're the, yeah, you're the special. We should, we should, we should up to two space. One. We should just Kill him. Picture for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, running away. Oh, so this here. Yay. It's a mellow wow. one. Wow. <laughs> and and nothing happens. happens. I mean, that's probably good because the overkill would have not have sent you anywhere. Those all three of my moves because I moved from here one, two, three, and then those were all just bonuses. From the bonuses. So that's, that's pretty nice. Good. Pretty good nice. Good turn. I don't get any actions though, because the space. You did is take a- an action. You killed a zombie. Oh, well, that and doesn't have anything. It here. turned into three zombies, but that's okay. Yeah, kill those zombies. Crushing it. Yeah. All right. Now I flip this card. Ah, it's an explosion. It carried over from that room. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I was gonna lose it. At least we're blowing up everything before we got anything yeah. important. <laughs> yeah, that's good. This is what happens when you. So this is a purple company. effect. Uh-oh, those rooms are full. Yeah. We're being well, overrun by very small zombies. <laughs> right. ah! So I think I want to go up there and try to take care of some of that stuff. Um, or I can go help the barricade be built. Um, it doesn't further our objective, Jesse. It, well, it helps keep up, keeps us from dying. Does it though? Uh, I guess I'll go kill stuff. We're at the mall, not Home Depot. Jason. He's sitting, yeah, he's sitting in the safe house, and we're all running around blowing up stuff. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's like, "This is why we can't first turn." I oh. get it. I find a crowbar. You guys start pulling stuff, like blowing stuff up. Two. I leave you for five minutes. I wanted to get good pictures. So, are there. you trying to escape being, or survive? Being a photographer. We're trying to finish three objectives that are here at the bottom. Uh, which is find certain frequency cards, which some frequencies will start coming out later. Promises, promises. Right. 
Uh, the other one is Discover a Cure, which there's eight of these things that we have to find them in the in a particular order. So far, we only found one, and it was the third one we need, I think. Mm-hmm. See. Yeah, and then we also have to repair a helicopter, which there's uh, helicopter parts throughout. We have to do all three of these things. We're working com- uh, cooperatively. You know, like pop stars, lawyers, scientists, and photographers do. Right, as long as we keep these characters. And, um, yeah, we just have to uh, persevere. And that's what the, the so pop, the pop star posse is. Like, here's my photographer, boom. here's my lawyer, here's my, lawyer, here's my scientist. Yeah. Now, this game has five different modes. We can do a zombie versus humans mode, but today we're playing cooperatively against the zombies. In that case, we kill all humans, but they yeah. have to be robotic zombies, I suppose. So I'm going to go... I just need to get out into the wild. The robot right? zombies. One. Kill mm. all humans. Two. Place one trap arm in the color side up. Oh, color side up. Be interesting. Into a room without a zombie. I guess I'll put it here. So why not? Yeah, if a zombie enters that room, it's killed immediately. Cool. And then three, and I'll kill this zombie. Dice. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Nothing, Nothing happens. happens. I can see this being a problem. <laughs> yeah, I agree. And then I get to look at this because no zombies are here. Hey! Oh, hey! Found the first cure. one! Found yeah. the first part of the cure. Okay. So then I get to have to add this. It's a ninja star. So I found a ninja star here in the... Uh, what place is this? Food, food court. Food court. <laughs> food That's where the ninja star would be singing. They have the best Chinese food. So the noise is made in the green room. <laughs> Real ninja stars. <laughs> you should see them chopping carrots. That's the other green room. Is it Joe, where the cop car blew yeah, up? Yeah, it must be. It is. I can see it. Yeah, it is. It is too. And you're currently <laughs> in zombies room. Run! You're in the. Hey, slivers. Hey, slivers. What's up? No, it's tiny epic zombies. So it's like tiny zombies. I honestly wish they had like regular size okay. games for these, because <laughs> I probably would have spent the extra couple bucks for the actual like board game version. Yeah, like it's kind of cool, like it's different. Because otherwise, if it were normal size, I feel like it would just be another zombie game. Sure, but the fact that it's small and tiny. Small. Yeah, it doesn't take up a lot of table space. <laughs> it's true, and it, this could probably on. capture the whole thing. Yeah. So much money on resources. Yeah, like just dip on. Yeah, it looks like all the zombies no are words. children. Because, like, we're full-grown adults, you know, photographers, oh, scientists. I didn't, you have to draw these cards. Keep them face down, oh, remember. Another, another Honestly, in cooperative card. mode, I feel like we could just draw off the top. Yeah, why wouldn't we? Why wouldn't we? Let's just do that. We're changing is your game, same, Scott Alms. the same thing? No, no, no. That's a supply deck. Oh. That's a the zombie deck. Yeah. Supply deck Here, Do you want me to be reference. in charge of those to punish sure. people at the end of their turns? <gasps> sure. Punishment. You might enjoy that. Yes, I will. <laughs> Um, did you pull yours for your turn yet? I did. Yeah, because we blew Joe. The ninja we kicked star. Joe out of the yeah. um, All right. Because we're trying to save table space. Why wouldn't we do that? So It makes sense, though, in the zombie mode. I mean, in the competitive mode where someone's playing the zombie. Because they're trying to predict where you're going to go. I'm going to move one. Kill, kill two. Zombie. <gasps> you're hurt. I hurt, the, I hurt my zombie. Uh, I broke a nail. He ah! scratched you. Um, so that was one. Slivers wants to be in charge of something. Um, Two. Can I? Do I gain a bullet as I walk? <laughs> Is that how that works? You're the mall cop zombie. Yes, you're a mall cop. Basically, if we die, you win. <laughs> is that is that how that works, Jesse? As I pass through this room, because I moved in here for two, I get the bullet three or for the. Like, yeah, you moved, yeah. killed the guy. Yeah, that was one. Moved, gained the bullet. Two, and now I'm gonna move and do the token. Yeah. D. Nope. So we have C and D. C D C D C D C. That's how we can call the C D C. By getting C D. All just right. Find the other C. And my punishment. C-D-C. Fireworks. Um, you found the fireworks. I found item. fireworks. Yeah. So, so you put it on top so of the crowbar yeah. is fine. Yeah. So these are all items we can find in Amps Electronics because you know they sell crowbars and fireworks. <laughs> well, the mall <laughs> is this. Store. Yeah, all stores sell. I mean, all electronic stores. You know, when they started to shut down, they're like, "Okay, we gotta add some new inventory." <laughs> all right, that was my turn. Joe. 
we, we stole that small like. cop's car. Okay, so I will attack yeah, that this time. zombie. Oh. Two wounds. Uh oh. How's it? One, one two, three. one. Yeah. Diversify. Yeah. Fireworks. <laughs> Kids and love then, fireworks. Can, can yeah, I pick that up or not? Can't. No, you got to because you killed the zombie, so you got to move. Move. And then do a thing, and then move back and do that. Right, Jesse. Or you could. Can he move, move directly into this thing. room? Can, yeah, he can yeah. move directly into that room. Even yeah, bypassing a zombie. As long as the walls are touching. That makes that's so weird. Because this this mall is beat up. Yeah, but there's uh, holes like in the I, walls. I, I and just stuff went through like the that. ceiling or something like that. Yeah, exactly. Ceiling. So, but I can't pick that up because I have to kill the zombie, right? Yeah. Right. But you can shoot it. Ah, uh, shooting. Since I took it's pizza by the slice faces. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it does actually. Uh, oh, wait, who, doesn't it I'm make more sense? <laughs> so you move to. Oh yeah. That's where my pop. Because now you have to move and the then court. do an action. Like you can't just do the action in the room. You've got to move first. Next to the pizza by the slice oh, place. Oh, okay, okay. I'm gonna pick up. Yeah, it may actually behoove you to. Move right back here and get this. Oh, you already rolled the. Yeah, I'll use this that. camera yeah, angle when I can. I, that's not a bad idea. Because it's kind of like the way we see it. Where, where'd this zombie go? But if it's off to the side, I have to switch to the overhead. I shot him. Oh, yeah. shot! Oh. I picked up the gear. Cool. He's got a gear. You got the gear. So we move the orange the thing gear. up. You got the gear. Oh, wait, that's right. Whenever you return it. I have to return it. Yeah, you return it. Never mind. Forget what I said. All right. And in that room, there is a frequency. Frequency. So he found a frequency in the... I don't know how to attach it to the room. We'll just move this down a little bit. There you go. The hobby store. There's a frequency in there. So now someone has the incentive to pick up the radio and get to work. I can do that. All right. So, what's uh, Joe's punishment? Oh, that was it. That so, was his purple. Punishment. Having to listen to the radio. <laughs> Here, since you're going to have to cook. One meat lovers and one buffalo chicken, please. <laughs> I only do the pop singing. Uh -oh. I'm, I'm not in charge of the uh, other. They go in yeah. room two. Room and two. And then there's an overrun in this room, so it wah, flows over wah, to the next one, wah. which is three. So, we have trouble over there. If purple were to get any more, they would flow over into our area. They would... Be killed, but our barrier would go down. Right. Gotcha. So instead of adding them to the map, basically, right here in Mall City. knock down the barrier. Right here in Mall City. There's the, oh, you put that one there, and then you put that one there. Okay. Yeah, because they flow from the corner stores down to the other stores in a uh, in a clockwise fashion. Fair enough. So if that store had overrun, it would go over here, not up there. Melissa. Going. One, two. So we may be in trouble if we draw purple. But there's a secret passage here. Yeah, you end up over there. Yeah, you end up over there. I'm going to do that. So one, and then that's two. It's basically like a move. Yeah, two, where, where, do I, which, which room? The secret passage room. One. Oh, right here. Yep. Okay, so it was one, zombies go. two, kill a zombie. Nothing, Nothing happens. Now you have your third action. Three, kill a zombie. Nothing happens. Nothing Man, happens. she's good at killing zombies. Yeah. <laughs> must be all that glitter. And your punishment <laughs> is a grenade. A grenade. Granada. What color do we have? That purple. would be purple again. Uh, oh, no! So, so it goes on the one. If the one is filled, it goes on the two, which injures you if a zombie were ever added to and your thing. And he's upside down. So that is called being overrun. So oh. we'll take a damage. Um, you next time. So the so mall cop hard. zombie actually activates because when the player is overrun, they must lose a bullet in addition to taking the medical pain. So. He loses a bullet too. There's a bullet. And then he goes in number three. No, no. Um, because that's... Oh, because it matched. Oh, I'm activated. Right. <laughs> is that how that works? Yeah, you're right. Takes two, and then the other one takes two as well. But it can't take two, so they go into the courtyard. So uh, instead of the courtyard, it actually damages this. So it goes one, two. If that ever hits that one, we lose one of these guys. 
Eh, that this might be a quick me. game. If they're ever gone, we lose. Oh, do we lose one now? We did, yeah. We lost one. So Because yeah. we went one to O. Oh. Let me double check that. I think it's as soon as it hits the zero, we... If the token ever reaches zero, remove one of the survivor tokens, yeah. So I need to go work on the barricade? Then reset the barricade to two. Okay. Oh. So we get a little bit of a buffer. A we plug of... the hole with a body. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> That Thank you, exactly Slivers. It. I appreciate that. It's like, can they get there? They're, like, they're brilliant. And they're getting the roll, a ra- <laughs> roll a ranged <laughs> attack on that. <laughs> roll for dodge. Oh, man. Y'all are still talking about pizza? I'm like, uh... Yeah. Throw a pizza. <laughs> I was afraid. I was petrified. pizza fine. Had that D in there. Ex- exclamation D. Tony, there it is. Oh, no, three. three? No, epic roll? miss. Ah! <laughs> Turns out pizza does not go through a crossbow. <laughs> um, Jesse. All right. Uh, we have issues, huh? Kill the zombies. I'm That's... overrun. There's one on my head yeah. and in both rooms all around. <laughs> I'm like, ah, zombies! Um, no, that's just her latest song. Ah, zombies! Crowbar, ah, going through the mall where everyone is dead. Holes in the walls at all the malls. Take entrance of an adjacent store. That's cool. Plug in holes with bags. Discard this <laughs> card on your turn I'll to take up the three zombies from cover. anywhere and place them in rooms without zombies. I could spread them out. <gasps> How do you build the barricade? Pick this up. Picking these up and bring them there. Oh, man, that's far. It's, it's, that one is short. This one is the far one. It's so far. Um, and you can also heal back here, by the way, if you ever cross through there. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Joe, you may want to no. take note of that. Take note of that. <laughs> yeah, because if ever these two things meet. Yeah, if your bullets and medical thing ever meet, you die. And then if we lose, we lose one of those, huh? So what are you doing, Jesse? It's a little white. The white? Yeah, yeah, we lose that. So essentially, um, if any one of us dies right now... I'm going to move here. I'm going to... Mm. So that can be in any of the three rooms in that store? What? Those objects? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm taking the third action, which is... or um, Where is it? Collect items. Okay. I think I want to take the fireworks and move these zombies around. I'll watch them start ending up at the other stores. Can I, I, can can I out, have cancel the effect of the card, of the place in zombies, or just the effect of the card? Events. Events specifically. Zombies are inevitable. Yeah, they're inevitable. Okay. Inevitable. So I'm actually going to discard this card. Nightbot, how you been, buddy? Did you have a good uh, Wednesday? Take up the three zombies from anywhere and place them in rooms without zombies. I think we can clear this out. What about my room? What about your room? You already took the damage from it. If I, t- if I take it off of you, then you could potentially get another damage. So they're just going to go in that purple room instead? Well, no. They could still pour into that room, but at least we have a little bit of a buffer. Uh, I'm going to put them... Um, do you need your place cleared? Probably. Let's put them here. Here. You don't need anything here, right? Well, actually, that could pour into me. Let's go here. Your bad thing. My bad, bad thing, thing is... Frequency! Frequency, beep, and it's purple beep, 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 again. Beep, beep, beep. So that was a good call. So the two that would go in here... Actually go in there. Go one. I mean, we're still going to get one two. barricade hit, but not that bad. And then you get one... Barricade hit. And barricade hit drops down to one. One more hit on that. And we don't lose immediately, but once it's out... All right, can I get there works. quickly? Can I go... One, two, three. So it would take my whole turn to get halfway there. Right. But Joe, you're, you're there. You have better luck like just killing zombies. Yeah, how do I? Yeah. I have to I'm going to move the... here. One, kill this zombie. Yay! If you roll, just keep rolling uh, green and we'll be okay. Ouch. <laughs> Not red. Green, uh, green! One, kill a zombie. Or two, kill a zombie. Nothing happens. Probably a different order. Let's just say you did that first and then Melissa's room. Because then it leaves you open to other I did. Because then I can flip <laughs> this, right? No, you still have another zombie in that other room. 
Three, kill a zombie. Ooh, that's Ooh, pretty... overkill. You can go to that room Go right to Echo there. Ridge and kill another zombie. Without oh, rolling, right? You do roll. Oh, I do yeah. roll. Because Ooh, you keep going, next... keep going. That's how we clear rooms. Overkill. Okay, oh. then you take a damage. I, oh. Hashtag it was worth it. Oh. It was worth it. Yeah. So that's my turn. And there's a ranged weapon in here. I found an Uzi, and the green rooms get affected. Ooh. So green rooms. Right here in the clearance sale. Clarence. And is he in the green room? Yes. Ooh, that's actually going to hurt you, isn't it? No, 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 just one each, because it, you don't yeah. share the room. So you take a damage for that. Right back. Zombie Slayer! <laughs> yeah, we needed that, though. That If that didn't happen, we were going to be in big trouble. Okay. You are very hurt. <laughs> <laughs> so I need to go back there. Yeah. And you can uh, jump in the car? Yeah, that just takes me... Oh, to an entrance. Yeah, but is there an entrance closer? No, not really. That's kind I mean, of... This isn't, yeah, I mean, this is only one, two, three, and I could be okay. there. Yeah, I just... Should I do that? Yeah, I would hop back. And, and I can bring the pick gear. up supplies on the way. Well, I got the gear. Yeah, but also pick up supplies on the can way because that's a running action. Can't do oh, it. can I pick that Zombie. up? Yeah. Oh, because I have the gear. Well, no, no, no. That's the running action. You can do that. Yeah, you're fine. Because, yeah, you can pick up the gear, too. So move there. I can pick Start up. Arcadia Quest. Are they really? Mm. Yeah, I've seen a Simon uh, thing. Mm. <laughs> so you get to heal two, right? Yes. One, two, three. And then you're also returning the supply token to the courtyard to repair for two. And then it says you draw one supply card, which is a, oh, which deck? Not that deck. The other one. The other one. <laughs> he keeps them right next which to each other. Which one? I'll take the supply deck. <laughs> so you also found some adrenaline. Oh, adrenaline. So you can discard this card, and on your turn, and take up to two oh, additional moves. Does that stay in there? Is it no, it's, it's yours. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's okay. I want to say it's yours. Yeah, there's a backpack. Right. Okay. This is backpack over here on the, yeah, on, this the right, on the right of the card, it has a backpack. Because it says ah. repair the thing too and then draw one supply card, which tells me that's yours. So, here it is pick up supplies. Then you may draw one card from the supply deck, collecting this item instantly. Then return the supply token to its numbered starting space. So, yeah, you put the crate back. Where, where it was, and so we oh. can just keep building up that barrier that way. If you do not decide to take the weapon card from the supply deck, return the card to the deck and shuffle. Neat. All right, so end of turn. So also... Oh, I right, and turn that in, so we move that up and move that to the number two. So it's in that room right there. Punishment. End of turn. Zombie event! Place one additional zombie into this store, then discard this card. Mm. Uh, that's green. So you can what? You, can you avoid spend it. a bullet to avoid it if you want. So one additional zombie. So it gets the normal one zombie. And then Correct. Just, so yeah. it gets two. It would get two, and do each I would two? probably avoid that if you can. <laughs> you want to do that, All right? I'll yeah. That. We'll just because that'll make it just fill that room up. Yeah. Cancel right. that event. No, so. leave it. So we, but we still get the tradition, the uh, standard one. So discard. Yeah. In we'll both up. green rooms. Objection. Both green rooms. Yeah. Objection. Here in, <laughs> in the. Uh... Yeah. Because that would have poured over to our barrier, which is a little stronger now, but still not comfortably. Melissa. Strong. So Melissa can go Secret get that passage. helicopter thing. Oh. I was gonna go to the secret pass and try to start. Well, why don't you zombies. reveal this frequency? Get this gear oh, have, and reveal have that we frequency. Not, have we not nope. You have to move into it. Yeah, you have I'm to move here first, then you have yeah. to move there. You have to move so first. Pick this up. Yeah, that's one of our goals. So I say we get it. Finally catching a board game stream, Bard Ross. Hey, Welcome. Hey, Bard Ross. I love bards. Yeah. Bards are curious. get a lot of flack, and it's not fair. D. D. Oh, so didn't we do C D D? D, D? Yeah. There's two Ds, yeah. So, pretty much all the other ones are the ones we need. 
Yeah, I played a bard. The last D&D &D campaign, campaign where I was a player, I played a bard, and he was awesome. Just ask that Ronald guy how much he loved that bard. Do you love him? No. <laughs> okay. Everybody picks on bards. So they DM, but yeah, the last bards. campaign I was really a part of, I was the DM, and it was a lot of fun. Sorry. I did have one bard that was an occasional. Did you play a music? That's, that's, a, a that's a D. I did. I played. Oh, you can check it if you want. It's free. I played back. Or you can do, do the room action, which is laying a trap, which there's only we two. We did that. Yeah. All right, so you get bad card. <gasps> only bad stuff. Frequency. Your frequency. There's so much stuff in that room. Somebody needs bigger that radio. Oh, you're in the radio room. I could get there and, hey, and turn and do it. Mocking Jay. Hey. Spooniest parts. Uh, Spooniest. I. Sporkiest. Yeah, I'm not as a uh, no. You put that spark down. <laughs> down with the forever queen. Two orange Let's things. Go. Actually, one of them triggers the trap. In with the spark. <laughs> one goes there, and then the other orange room gets two. It's a two. zombie trap. It's oh, a zombie yeah. trap. Um, so who's turning the zombie ball? The zombie ball. They're in the ball. <laughs> In the All right, so we got a lot of zombies here. It uh -oh. is uh, my turn, right? Yeah, because yeah, my wife just went. Where am I? I'm in Samsung. Um, there's only five zombies left in here. What happens if we're out of zombies? Please kill the zombies. We're ever out of zombies. I don't remember that being mentioned. Add new zombies. It's getting really scary in here. Actually, it doesn't say. Add uh, new zombies. I play a war Troubadour, warrior. wizard, or thumb. Bards are very underrated. I agree. I agree with you, River. Well, I do, th and as I understand, I mean, I didn't play D&D &D back in the day, but as I understand it, bards like used, used to be pretty awful, but now, like in 5th edition, they're great. I do they like have to, bards. like, switch around? Like The thing with bards is that they... All the other classes tend to be really good at one thing and weaker at other things. Bards are just middle of the road. They're decent at everything. And they pick things up. Like, they just, they're a good middle of the road. Everything is reasonable. Are the bards the ones that are musicians? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, they have, Skyrim has bards that play the music yeah. in the little towns. Yeah, but in d and I mean, you can be a magic-y bard, you can be a melee bard, you can oh. be a wizardy type of bard. I just like role-playing the bard. If a zombie must be added, but there are none left in the supply, for each zombie that zombie player is unable to add, the human player with the fewest wounds takes one wound. If the players are tied for wounds, the player with the most bullets takes a wound. Or if the players are still tied, players decide. So we just start getting hurt, because they didn't put enough components in the box. I mean, it was only... Were they out of room? Probably, because it was only like six <laughs> off. It wasn't that bad. I mean, there's only one zombie in each room, though, right? Yes. There's 24 <laughs> spots, because there's eight, eight oh, okay. rooms. Thank but there's only 18 Nick. zombies, I think, or something like that. Oh, yeah. or, yeah. Yeah. Whiskey Nick's okay. been watching the uh, spin-off show of iHeartboard Games, the, oh. the Hedges Picture Skyrim stream. <laughs> Um, I don't, they they say I murder a lot of people. It's 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 not. I true. watched a little bit of it. It's a bloodbath. But I don't, you missed the night that I like was being chased by guards, and then I was like, oh, I'm just gonna go down here into the thieves den. It'll be fine. And there were I'm not kidding you. Ask slivers. There was like 20 guards. Like, and it was right when I got in the room. Like, I physically could not move forward until I hacked my way through a few of them. And there were bodies everywhere. I can't go here. You gotta kill. It was amazing. Oops, That's my player, it. you know. Oh, no. oh it is. <laughs> that guy back. I'm over here. Good. That's actually better. Kill. Come on. Chain it. Dice. Roll that green. Roll that oh, green. All right. As long as I keep rolling green, I'll be just fine. That's, nope. That's well, two wounds. That's the opposite of green. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Ow. That zombie really had it in for you. Yeah. All right. Let's try this zombie. Maybe he won't have this zombie. Like, Did he? Okay. Nothing, nothing happened. So well, this you better go in this thing room. Is, you better kill this all thing. All the meeple die. Heal one or take these wounds. Oh wow, that's bad. So I'm gonna walk over here. Kill this zombie. Come Seven on, green. Nope. nope. I'm a terrible zombie slayer. Ready for your end of yeah. turn. Yeah. Shotgun. Oh, of course it's green. And it's green. Ah. 
All right, well, I have this one over here. So shotgun was found in this room. So I'm oh, being no, overrun. No. There's oh, no. noise. Oh, I used this item. Is it just one when you add zombies? Is it just one? For Well, it's green, so it's going to be two. Yeah, he's gonna, since he's there. That's like one. Barrel. Barrel. So one have, barrier. Um, and that overruns me. The green? Okay, which hurts me additionally. Uh oh. And then. Another one into the. Another one in the barrier, so lower the barrier over. again. That's it. All right. Good folks. Three zombies in the cup. Um, I have three over here as well. The same. Oh, okay. Good. Well. Well. Zombie show. So I can go. I'm gonna go here and kill a zombie. Mm hmm. Yep. Oh, lovely. <laughs> it's the second time I've taken a double hit. Uh, so that was one. Mm hmm. Uh, can I move into here from there? Sure. Yeah. As long as the walls are touching, you can move into them. Two. Oh, man, this is that problem of. I can't get that until I kill the zombie. Right. Um. I'll, just just pick set, up the I'll set myself up for next turn. So that was two. I mean, you could have moved into here and yeah, shot it, him, and then yeah. shoot through the wall. You can shoot one. Yeah, right yeah. Away. So shoot I moved here. One, one, two. Shoot him. Shoot, shoot him. Shoot him. Uh, I'm getting really close here. Yeah. <laughs> you can heal up in the. So he's dead. Return back. Uh, and, and then, then for three, I go in here and reveal. Another C! Oh. So we need all of the other ones. What was this? this? A D or D? It goes A, B, C, D, D, C, B, A. Well, we found all the useless letters. Well, so, yeah, these the are so all that green, that's where all the good stuff is. Right. Oh, no. All uh, that C of green. Well, you can also there. pick up. You can pick yeah, up. I'll do that on my next turn. Uh, right now, there's green again. And it's a spray uh, and pray. It. We're no, done. No, it isn't. We're done. We're done for. It's close to done, yeah. Here, use two for your so, stack. So, first, I mean, it's going to be courtyard each time. Bam, bam. So, bam takes out that guy and resets the two, and then bam again. I mean, there's the one. Or no. This guy's gone. They're both. So, we have nothing left in the. No more survivors. If it were to reach zero again, we lose. If we go to remove. A survivor. We lose. Okay. Joe, don't lose the game. <laughs> don't lose the game, boss. <laughs> Need some epic good battle music. That's epic. I don't know. Yes, it's epic. Okay, so we'll move in. <laughs> this better be the That's best right, move Slivers. Ever. These zombies, uh, so they're all the uh, guards I killed. Out, outside of the. The mama's on the first. <laughs> right here, one, two. You're making Melissa blush. <laughs> the mama's on the end of the day. Maybe I should move in here and shoot. Shoot, yeah. Shoot one. When a mama zombie loves a daddy zombie. And then move into this room. What happens? Then you get lots of other zombies. Well, I don't think how? that's how it works. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing happens. They're not using their brains. So that's, that was one, no two, brains. and then I'll move over here. Kill all Clean zombies. out that green room. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And that's it. <laughs> all right, your end of game, end of round. Uh, it's it's uh, green. Negan's green. back. Oh, no. We lose. We're doomed. That's done. Because I would add it to the middle, and we die. <sighs> well, that was a fun uh, Hour. 50 minutes. <laughs> Pretty close. Um, so, yeah. What would you think of Tiny Epic Zombies? Even though it was a loss and Slivers won. Slivers, you won! <laughs> I am invincible! <laughs> 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 Thank you so much for watching this video. Next time, watch it in real time. Join us at twitch.tv slash hardboardgames, and who knows? I might have a winning strategy with your help. Want to see some other wins and losses? Check them out here and here. You know you want to. You hear that cat meowing? 
That's because our board game playthroughs are the cat's meow.